What is equipped with an L30A1 tank gun and can travel 37 miles an hour? This guy. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Brick Mania review. This week we're going to talk about the British main battle tank known as the Challenger 2. This was designed by Vickers Defense System. This four man crew war machine was originally produced in 93 but never actually saw service until 1998 and is still being used today. Mainly being known for the war in Iraq, this is also being used in the Russian Ukraine war going on today. The Challenger 2 was not only the successor of the Challenger 1 but also the famous Chieftain which was considerably unreliable due to maintenance issues in the field. The Challenger 2 began service with the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards with the last delivered in 2002. After the 2020 restructuring, only three Challenger 2 tank regiments will remain, the Queen's Royal Hussars, the King's Royal Hussars, and the Royal Tank Regiment of each which is the tank regiment of an armored infantry brigade. On September 4th, 2023, a video emerged from a village in Ukraine which showed the destruction of the first Challenger 2 tank to be destroyed. The tank was hit by a 9M133 Cornet anti-tank missile and burst into flames. The turret separated from the vehicle and the commander's cupola was blown off. This thing made it from 19 1998 all the way through two wars till 2023 till it saw its first destruction, which is a huge feat in itself. Having equipped an AL-30A1 British design rifle tank gun, the turret can rotate a full 360 degrees in 9 seconds and can reach a range of up to 5 miles. Which means you have 9 seconds to either run as fast as the flash and get the hell out of dodge or you better be circling that tank quicker than it can turn because if that doesn't bother you and also the 49 other shells that it carries, it also has an AL-94A1EX 34 7.62mm chain gun mounted coaxially. Holy hell, that's a mouthful. Who names these things? This thing also has a 7.62 millimeter L37A2 machine gun mounted on a pintle on the loader's hatch ring, and there's also 4,200 rounds of that 7.62 in here for all that automatic hole punching it needs to do. This tank also has the ability to have something called the Leonardo Enforcer Remote Control Weapon System mounted, bearing another 7.62 L37A2 machine gun, a 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun, or this thing can have a 40 millimeter automatic grenade launcher attached to it. Now I want you to think about this for a second. Not only can this 64 ton, 37 mile an hour moving tank reach out five miles away and touch you, it can also have the ability to have a 40 millimeter grenade launcher attached to it just obliterating everything in its path, just in case you get out of hand. Now, just in case you're wondering, this behemoth is protected by a second generation armor known as the Dorchester, the details of which are classified, but which is said to have a mass efficiency more than twice that of rolled homogeneous armor against high explosive anti-tank projectiles. Again, who is naming these things? Now, let's talk about the build. Now, as far as the build goes, this is the first tank from Brickmania that I've done that has an engine, which was a really neat little side build. Building the V12 diesel is done with using bright blue colors, which is really cool because you won't be using those colors anyway. This build also allows you to fit all four crew members inside one in the basket which can't be seen the commander's hatch opens allowing him to fit in with the loader beside him and also the driver can be replaced which is actually the harder one to do the turret build on this wasn't too complicated and used slopes to get those angles versus using joints to angle those armor plates and the side skirt build on this was also done really well but i do love those exposed tracks this was the first time i've used the version 3 tank tracks and they did not disappoint the road wheels also look extremely good with the combination of pieces used and most importantly this tank rolls Now this is the first vehicle I've built out of that Bricks in the Sand Volume 2 book that I picked up, so I don't have much to compare it to in that sense. But the build overall, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. I would not give it a 10 out of 10 just because I've built some tanks that are a little better. I do have to say I'm pretty biased on those because they're tanks that I absolutely love. And until this build and doing all this research, I knew nothing about this one. So with looking at it, what do you guys think? Is this going to be the best vehicle out of this book? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stay tuned as I build all other nine vehicles. Just just like before, I'm going to continue doing videos on all these Brick Mania vehicles that I build. It also gives me a huge chance to do some research and learn about them, stuff that I would have never known before. So remember guys, if you like this video, if you like this idea, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below, let me know what you think. Stay tuned for the next vehicle out of the book. You know I've already built the BTR if you've been watching my shorts, but you get to learn a little more information about it. Thanks for watching. 
Peace. Who in the hell would name a gun that? L37A2. That's just too damn long.